how do I load this? Because I'm not, you know, doing All this. Of co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I'm gonna go to the menu and I'm gonna load this game. And this time, this time we're going to unplug this, the phone. Screw that. As Stan there you go. picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance but with hope. Hope for a life reunited. One, wait. Oh goodness, Stanley, did you <laughs> just unplug the phone? Yes. Well, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let nice. me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? What? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, oh, I maybe I don't. Kind of maybe I didn't. Watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you <laughs> properly on safe decision making in the real An world. An instructional video. This helpful instructional video. Choice. Oh yes. It's the best part of being a real person, but if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer <laughs> radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Good Remember question. I, right can, here, I can hardly the tell. The world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself <laughs> speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a <laughs> partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. A what? A back sack and crack? Practice, okay. Sure, I'll, I'll do a practice round of Excellent. this. Making choices on a regular basis is the best <laughs> part to a healthy decision-making process. That is the best process. illustration ever. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant <laughs> and the feeling should subside. <laughs> At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this is, video. Is that uh, the narrator going to do with me, the infield exercise? Ah, oh, yeah. Welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate <laughs> as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. <laughs> now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Perfect. Okay. Are you gonna allow me back in? Is that is that it? Or wait. Okay, I'm just gonna keep walking. All right. What now? We're just gonna go on the. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Oh, you watch me. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. Oh, you closed us off? Oh, no. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets Damn it. any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to. I don't want to live anymore. Okay, I can't. I can't kill myself. Interesting. We're going backwards. That's fairly interesting. 
Ha! What's go what? Wait, oh, that's closed just because I left there. Okay, we're going back to my office, I guess. Nope. Just the Almost office. There. Yeah. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Is that so? Will I? Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. <laughs> that means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. No. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm a rebel. No. I'm no. No. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh, I'm breaking the game. I'm breaking the game! Alright, I'm gonna go back again. Here, it's fine. Alright, I'm back. No? I mean... Okay, I guess I have to go left now, starting... The game is probably broken at this point. Fantastic. I can't, I can't wait to see that. Alright. Did, did, did I break it? I'm not sure. Yeah, this looks broken. To me. Yep. Ruined. You yep. can't believe after everything we talked about that you my story. You've destroyed my work. Why? <laughs> For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so a good joke? Seeing the game undone, left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worth this now. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To sure. My story is now incorrect. How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Right, you try to kill day. me. I am not feeling bad for you. Entirely to willingly destroy all of my work. I'm yeah. No. What's the answer? What do I do? What do There's I do? no answer. There is no spoon. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. Oh I no! Don't! 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 don't. No, you 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 don't. Well. He okay. Oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Huh. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. Great. You ruined everything. Destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What? Did you think that would be funny? <laughs> you just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He oh, actually no. knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought I should have never occurred to you, had it? No. That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. You're it would lying. Have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Yep. Oh. And it's it exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Right. Oh, sure you'll we're back here. Task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. So when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I I'm not sure what I should choose here. If I should go on the left or on the I'm going to try the right again. Screw that. No. Why did you do that? Quickly. Hurry. Nope. <laughs> We're not too late. Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always I'm going to keep going. Story first. Never stop. I'm sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a No, two I don't want to. You're not my real dad. No. 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 Why did you do that? Quickly. Hurry. I I I, I, I can't basically. Exactly as Stanley would. Yeah. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Fine. Sure I'll put the story the first, you Just son of a narrating. Fine. All right. <laughs> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fine, you win. Because you're pressuring me. You're forcing me to. You're forcing me to do this. I don't want to do this. You're just forcing me, man. 
Yet there was not a single person here either. Weird. The the hmm. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer huh. there. Damn it, the broom closet is closed. I can't. What? Oh. Staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. They removed the path down. They removed it. I can't even go down. Okay, I have to. I'm fairly certain something weird and fishy is going on. The bathroom is gone. There's, there's no bathroom in this one. This one doesn't open. Oh my! This, uh, this is different. Well then. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication well. of human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Come again? Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. <laughs> he had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Fascinating. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Well, at least Stanley you're explaining. Stanley trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He sure thing. A sharp breath <gasps> and then spoke the code. Dick nipples. Dick nipples. Dick nipples. Dick nipple one one five. Stanley spoke the code. Night shark. I can't speak. He spoke I can't. Receiver. Night shark one one five. Come on. Night shark one one five. Certainly won't work. I mean, I have a microphone, but the game certainly I'm doesn't. I'm sorry, is there a problem? Yeah! You didn't mishear me, did you? No! Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Ah. Well, fine. I'm just going to okay, sit here and pout. Fine, you're not going to do it. But nope. you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to it's do. I roll. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, <laughs> then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Wow. Yeah, someone's losing his mind. Then he came to a set of two open doors. Oh. He entered the door on his left. Well. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stay nope. Please. I, I need you to make a choice. <laughs> the end. The door. <laughs> Are you Thank you for playing the Stanley Parable. Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Is this the real end, Stanley, though? This is important. The story <laughs> needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You can't be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Aw. Do something. Anything. That narrator, by the way, is absolutely fantastic. But these are proper credits. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you This is so sad. I, I want to go and... I'm gonna go for the door. It's okay, I can wait. <sighs> you need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Aww. Well then. I guess that concludes it. That concludes the Stanley Parable. I'm going to assume that rolling the proper credits over the end is the actual end. I do still wonder what those buttons in the office over there do. But for now, I guess we're not going to find out. You're going to have to get it yourself in the Freedom Bundle, which is a fantastic bundle to get. And you can get it on the Humble Bundle. It's massive. It has a lot of great games in there. It's great value. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed the Stanley Parable. Thank you so much for joining me in the stream and on YouTube. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like, follow me on Twitch, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!